You're tall. What's this? I don't know what that one is for. I think it's for when you push it into a bigger container or something. Or when you fill it with coffee. coffee. Hey, we didn't read the directions, so if you did, good for you. <laughs> you got to dream big. Oh, don't dream at all. All right, so how do we make coffee when we're on the road in the Rialta? You've got limited space. You want to make a fresh cup of coffee. You're either stopping at the truck stop gas station or campground coffee. I don't know about that. We wanted something for when we were out on the road and really making coffee on the beach. It's our thing is getting to the coast, camping, boondocking. How are we going to make that coffee? There's a lot of different methods to make coffee, and we've got a few coffee makers in the house, right, babe? Oh, we have five, I think. Two Keurigs a cold brew coffee maker, uh, a French press, and a regular coffee pot. Yeah, quite a few uh, for making coffee. And uh, so we wanted to see what would work, what was not breakable, what made the most sense, and this is what we came up with. This is the AeroPress. Now, we love it. Uh, you can decide if you like it. We'll show you how we use it, and you can go from there. I don't know how much it costs. It wasn't super expensive. Uh, we just picked it up online, so just mm -hmm. do a search under AeroPress Aero and you'll Press. find out. The whole thing's plastic, cleans up easy, wipes down easy. Now we also got these little Ziploc containers, Gladware Ziploc something, Ziploc. Uh, we use these, they're easy just to microwave and warm up the water. So we warm up the water in ours uh, and we use drinking water for that. We'll use either bottled water that we brought with us for the trip. Mm -hmm. uh, you could use the fresh tank water. It's a small tank though and if we're boondocking we need that water for other things. So we're going to use our drinking water that we brought either in the bottles or otherwise. Mm -hmm. So let's show you how we do it, right? Okay, so what's in the box? What comes with it? So with this, you get the coffee maker, which is the AeroPress, simple little device. You get, you get filters and a filter tray. That's pretty cool. Yes. How many is in there? Like 5,000. A lot. A lot. It's a lot of cup of coffees. Should last us, you know, a week or two. <laughs> cup of coffees. And then you get this gadget. That is gadget. so awesome. Oh my gosh. Isn't that awesome? I've always wanted one. I'm not sure exactly what it is. We have no idea what that's for. Okay. <laughs> but it comes with it. I think it's it's a stand for your filters. Now, we did buy a little filter for it. This is a metal filter, so. Reusable. Reusable. So. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> because paper filters, you can run out of these or they spill, something spills, they get wet, they're no good. Um, or they blow away because you you're go. camping somewhere windy like the beach. Uh, so the reusable metal screen is awesome. You don't need to ever worry about running out of paper filters. Plus, like all companies, they get you for the refills, man. You know, the, the item's inexpensive, but then all the little stuff to make it work. So this is cool that it came with it, but this reusable one is easy. You can put it in, easy to go. Now, it's quicker to it use is the paper. Quicker to use the paper because the whole reason I'm getting this is because it's such an easy device to clean up. How's it work? Even with the French press, you have to wash it and clean it. This one, you just scrape the grounds out and make the next cup. So it's pretty cool. Prove it. All right. So you take the bottom, twist it off. You grab a little piece of filter paper. You put it right into the lid. You let take me see it. this. Wait, let me see okay. this. Comes apart. It does come apart. So this has numbers on it one two three four what's that for that's how much water you need to put in it to make your cup of coffee cool. our cups about what a three yes it's pretty three. full all right so you just take it twist it back on so now you got your filter inside this bad boy's rubber on the end it's like a big rubber stopper like a big syringe yeah you can just squish it in there are those of you into animal husbandry you might use something like this but we'll leave that one where it sits okay so are we gonna do all right so you take this part that you put the coffee in you take the bottom cap lid thing whatever that is okay then you take the filter you stick the filter inside the basket you take it and you twist it on to sweet so it won't fall out yep I like that it's twisted in then you will simply take your coffee pretending put a scoop in there then you take your water 
fill it to, what do we do for for a mug this size? This size is about a three. About a three. So you'll see there's numbers, one, two, Don't three. Don't know why there's one, two, three, and four, because one is not a cup of coffee. So once, you, okay. So you take this, once you've got the grounds and the filter, the lid on, you stick it on top of your coffee cup, okay? You stir the water with the grounds in there. And then you take the plunger. Why are you holding it in the air? Well, I'm going to set it back down. Because you don't want to hold it in the air. You just you want to put it on your cup. It it's easy. Air. You'd be sitting on the beach. So you take put, it. Put it in your chair's cup holder. Then the idea is to press the air and the water down through the grounds. And then, voila, you've got a cup of coffee. You just poured it all out. <laughs> But fortunately, you can you make more I mean. because you bring an entire can. Yes. Now, we use these cans. We like the uh, French market, the New Orleans style with uh, chicory, mm -hmm. right? Good stuff. Uh, but keep the cans. They're great because you can throw them all around, use them for other stuff. But you can just pour whatever coffee in here. So you want to stop, get some Dunkin' Donuts, get some tourism coffee. Perfect. And this is your coffee on the beach. When you're done, pop this open. Filter stays in. Grounds are kind of packed right here. Just wipe, wipe it, it off. Up into the trash off they go wipe it down you don't really even need to wash this there is nothing in this tube this tube is pressed through with the rubber so it seals so it's easy to keep safe and i'd leave a filter in here and just have it ready to go and then um this thing right here if you don't have a use for it or can't figure it out you could sell it on the internet because everybody needs one of these <laughs> awesome nice job thanks that's a good cup of coffee cheers cheers Oh, yeah. You played that better. Hot. <laughs> Make sure you enjoy yourself when you're out on the road. Camping should be fun. It should be relaxing time. If coffee's your thing, make sure you get something that works well for you. The AeroPress works for us. <laughs> it works well. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Okay. And if not, you can always run to the 7-Eleven or the Tootin' Totem or whatever you got. <laughs> It's a thing. I know. I've seen so, it. So, um, anyway, enjoy yourself out there on the road. We'll talk to you later. And remember, God is good. All the time. You've got to dream big. Oh, don't dream at all.